Long Legs is a broadly familiar yet deranged, relentlessly tense horror movie. 7.5 out of 10. Here's why. I found the last film from Osgood Perkins, Greta Van Hansel, touch more style than substance. But I still recognized a promising eye for surreal unease, which the writer-director, and, for what it's worth, son of the star of Psycho, here doubles down on. If in beautiful films every frame is a painting, then Long Legs is the perverse inverse, from lingering shots of darkness to empty space which doesn't always stay that way. Rare is the scene which passes without inspiring dread or limb-clinching anxiety. While the story, with Micah Monroe as a young FBI agent tracking a twisted serial killer in early 90s Oregon, initially seems to be a simple pastiche of post-Silence of the Lambs thrillers from the same era, it gradually contorts into something even more haunting. Compounded by an arresting soundtrack dotted with dissonant pop tunes and unpredictable subliminal images or shifts in aspect ratio. Unfortunately, the two legs upon which this film stands, the titular villain and his M.O., are kind of busted. You can squint and see what they were going for with this performance, but with his clownish makeup and penchant for breaking into song, Long Legs quickly comes off as less of a figure of genuine menace and more as a farcical grab bag of tropes, the subject of a lost SNL sketch where, well, Nicolas Cage plays a Satanist. I'm all for uncomfortable tone shifts and horror, but when a child predator nearly makes me burst out laughing, something's gone wrong. Similarly, when the parlor scene hits, it's to reveal a scheme so convoluted that I still can't tell whether it's genius or a textbook example of working backwards from what would make the weirdest possible buildup without needing anybody to behave like rational human beings. Also, uh, Monroe's character is psychic, and the Bureau does Blade Runner-esque psychological tests, and none of that ever comes up again. It's a testament to my love of this subgenre and Perkins' presentation that I have the goodwill that I do towards Long Legs, because it's greater than the sum of its parts. It's well staged, well scored, paced with the precision of a Swiss watch, and aside from the caging out, and uh, that down-home southern gal of the asylum, scripted and performed to excellence. If you saw that poster and that teaser and said, I'm interested, stay that way and let it in.